are the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. And I'll be going through the past, the present, challenge, and outcome. So Leo, in the recent past, we have the Four of Cups. Now this card is about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and, and the many blessings we each currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be. Uh, since we're talking about the recent past, what could have been. It's too easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So you should have uh, made sure that you were counting your blessings at that time and not spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Now the Four of Cups is paired with the Ace of Cups. Now this is a great card in the tarot when it comes to love. Either an existing relationship was going to take a turn for the better. Now if it was an existing relationship, it would have gotten deeper or reached a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It probably felt almost like a new and encouraging start. If you were uncommitted, a new relationship was more than likely to appear soon. Okay, so that's the Ace of Cups in the recent past. Let's move on to the present. We have the Three of Pentacles. Now, with this card, uh, in regards to relationships, it's a very good card in the tarot, uh, particularly if you already know someone that you're interested in. This tells you that they see you in a positive light. They're drawn to you. They're attracted. They're attracted to you. They see you as someone who has the qualities that they've been looking for, although the love has not quite developed yet. So there's going to be a need for patience. And if you're single but looking for love, this card can indicate that you're more than likely to meet someone through your work or through theirs. So keep your eyes open. Now that's the Three of Pentacles and it's paired with the Nine of Swords. Now something may be troubling you with regards to your relationship. Don't ignore your gut feelings if you feel that something in your relationship is unhealthy. If, you, if you're thinking that, you're probably correct. If you suspect that something is going on behind your back, your best bet is to ask your partner about it. If you've recently met someone, don't get too carried away that believing all is what it seems. Trust takes time to develop. Don't be in too much of a hurry. With these two cards paired together, the Three of Pentacles, you already know someone that you're interested in. Okay, the Three of Pentacles uh, is a great card in the tarot for relationship and uh, finding romance, uh, particularly if you already know someone, like I said, that you're interested in, this tells you they see you in a positive light. You have what they've been looking for. So just be patient because it's going to be a slow coming together, a slow meeting of the minds. Um, being that it's paired with the Nine of Swords, uh, it's probably going to be slow uh, because something's troubling you uh, probably with regards to getting this relationship off the ground or something about it is troubling you or you've got some type of um, issues that you need to deal with at this time uh, but more than likely your gut feelings could be telling you something about uh, a certain situation 
or maybe this um, relationship that hasn't quite developed yet. So you're probably just a little bit iffy. You're not really sure about something. The cards, they don't tell me what, but it's troubling you. Okay, so your best bet is to communicate and talk to this person. Or if you're in a relationship, it could be the relationship that needs to that needs to have some communication. Okay, but whoever this person is in the Three of Pentacles, they see you in a positive light, and uh, there's you're someone that has the qualities that they've been looking for, but you've got questions and you've got concerns. So um, trust takes time to develop. Don't be in too much of a hurry. And that's what the, the Nine of Swords tells you. And that's the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the Three of Swords. Now when it comes to love, and you get this card in a reading, just know that it's, it is not, it is not the end of a relationship. But it does almost always point to relationship difficulty and pain. So in order for the relationship to survive, both parties must be willing to work on and talk about the relationship. You probably will find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you had supposed. So do not take this too personally or dwell too long on the pain, if that is the case. You're being guided to the relationship that is right for you. And just know that you cannot force something to be right. That's the Three of Swords and it's paired with the High Priestess. Now the High Priestess is a magical, mystical time for love for anyone who's interested. If you're a woman, you may find people literally throwing themselves at you. The problem is that you'll attract both the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> and it's not always easy to tell which is which. You'll have the power of femininity at your disposal at this time. And at first glance, that may seem great. And with these two cards paired together, the Three of Swords, it's not the end of the relationship. It is not. But it points to difficulties and some pain in the relationship. Okay, so both parties need to talk at this time. You need to talk, okay? And, uh, with the High Priestess being paired with this card, um, it looks like once you talk about the situation or the difficulties and get rid of all the pain in the relationship, it's going to be mystical and magical uh, for you and your partner because that's what was needed, communication. Like I said, the death... Um, the Three of Swords is not the death of the relationship, but you guys had some difficulties that needed um, to be dealt with, okay? And you dealt with it, and you, you both came out as High Priestess, or high, you both came out on top, okay? The High Priestess is a mystical, magical time for love, okay? And if you're single, uh, people, will, they'll be throwing themselves at you. So you're going to attract a little bit of everything. Like I said, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay? You've got the power of femininity. So it turns out great for singles and couples. And that's a challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups, when this comes up in a reading, it's about a lady... She could be coming towards you or someone in your life. She's, um, it, indicate, it indicates a woman very positive. Or either it's a positive outlook about a relationship. 
if you're single and this card appears, it's a good indicator that you should get out and mingle and socialize as new, very positive romances could be on the horizon. Now, keep in mind the thing is, when this card appears, it's easy to get carried away regarding love. You have to remember to keep your balance and your perspective. Even with the excitement of brand new love, it's important to keep track of other things happening in your lives. Okay? And then that's the Queen of Cups is paired with the Ten of Wands. Now, this signifies a hard place in the relationship. It could be that your lover is undergoing a rough time. And it has nothing to do with your relationship but needs your support. However, it indicates that there is something in the relationship which needs to be examined, looked at, and considered. Just keep in mind, you're not going to gain anything by pretending that there's no problems. If you're looking for love and looking for a relationship, don't despair. Your time will eventually come, but perhaps now is not a good time uh, to put a stop on your search. Or actually now, yeah, because with the yeah, because you have a burden right now, now is a good time to put a stop to your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. As you can see in the um, on the picture of the card. Yeah, now would be a good time to definitely stop your search and get some rest, okay? And with these two cards paired together, the Queen of Cups, um, it indicates a very positive outlook about a relationship. Okay, very positive. Uh, it's easy to get carried away right now in the relationship, but you have to keep your balance. Keep your balance uh, and keep your perspective because there's other things that, that's going to need your attention. Um, you know, you have family, friends that love you too, okay? And it's paired with the Ten of Wands. So... Even though with the Queen of Cups, it's a very positive outlook in the relationship, about the relationship, uh, just like any relationship, sometimes there's hard places in the relationship. And with this Ten of Wands, there's an indication that um, there's some rough patches, okay, that you need to work out. And... And it probably has nothing to do with you, but your partner is going through a rough period. That's what the Ten of Wands is indicating, okay? The relationship is good, and it's fine and well, because you've got the Queen of Cups, but your partner is having some difficulties that need your support at this time, okay? And um, it also means that the relationship needs to be looked at and considered and examined, okay? But for the most part, your partner looks like he could be having some um, things that he, he needs to deal with or she needs to deal with, and uh, it just, it's just putting a little bump in the relationship, okay? So don't pretend that there's, there's no issue or issues, um, because if you do, that wouldn't be good. You won't gain anything by pretending at this time so overall, it's a good time for the relationship, but there's a bump somewhere. And it's, it's probably that your partner uh, needs your, your support because they're having some issues. And that's the outcome. So Leo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.